there's an astonishing amount of the crazy stuff in the art. In a big museum like the Metropolitan, you can find almost the whole of history of human sexuality encoded in the artworks. And, and that's what our, our tours are about at Shady Ladies Tours. Uh, we show you the racy side of art in the museum from the ancient Greeks up to the modern collection. Uh, there is even racy stuff in parts of the museum where you really wouldn't expect it. Uh, the great example is the Metz Gallery of English 18th century paintings. I think if you just look at it without knowing anything, you would imagine that it's a gallery of portraits of, of dukes and duchesses, uh, all of whom came from aristocratic families and had perfect spotless lives. Uh, but that is in fact not true at all. I think that's what the portrait painters want you to think, uh, because these are uh, very honorific portraits of people who were important, but it doesn't mean they didn't have scandalous backgrounds. Uh, and uh, I'll just tell you a, a little tiny bit about four of them, then you know you can come on our tour sometime to find out a lot more. They're a pretty fun gallery. So as you walk in on the left, there's a very big portrait, very grand, of a woman in a vast gold dress. Um, again, you might think she was the Duchess, but she's not at all. Um, this is one of the most prominent courtesans of 18th century London a woman named Grace Dalrymple Elliot, uh, who was the lover of a whole string of aristocrats, uh, including, for instance, the Prince of Wales, the future George IV. In fact, she might have had an illegitimate child by George IV. Uh, she also uh, lived in France for about a decade and was the lover of a cousin of Louis XVI, the Duc d'Orléans. Uh, who's a very interesting person in history because he became a revolutionary. Uh, if you look right across the gallery from her, you see a portrait of someone who certainly is an illegitimate royal child. Uh, this is Charles Beauclerc, the Duke of St. Albans, and there's a whole long string of titles, all of which were given to him by his father, King Charles II. But he was, in, in fact, an illegitimate child by one of Charles's innumerable mistresses, the uh, actress Nell Gwynne. Uh, Gwynne is probably the most fun of all royal mistresses in history, but um, there's not that much really to say about her son, um, except that he had a lot of children. I, I know when people look at him, they think that he's kind of a metrosexual. So in fact, he was apparently sexually very active. Um, he had a lot of children and is the ancestor of an enormous number of uh, great British aristocrats in history. Um, if you look down at the end of the gallery, there is a very dramatic portrait of a woman with her hair flying in the wind. This is an actress during a play. Um, her name is Elizabeth Farron. She was, in fact, the most prominent comic actress of 18th century England. Um, she wasn't a courtesan. But she was an actress with an aristocratic patron, which in 18th century terms is, is not very different from a courtesan. Uh, she had, in the end, a stroke of luck, which Grace Dalrymple didn't have, which is that her aristocratic patron's wife died, and he married her, which, um, which aristocrats could do in the 18th century. Some, some people married their mistresses. He didn't think had to be important enough to ride out the scandal, but uh, apparently he thought he was, and uh, she became the Countess of Derby. Uh, just across from her, there's a, another wonderful portrait of a young um, officer. I think um, I've asked many, many people what they make of his attitude as he um, looks out at you poutily. Uh, some people think he's just arrogant. Most, I think, see him instead, see his arrogance as having a kind of sexy catch, as if he were standing there saying something like, babe, I know you want me. Uh, I, I don't, in fact, know anything scandalous about him. Uh, but there is something interesting about him, which is that his sister was good friends with Jane Austen. So looking at this portrait, I always wonder if he might be the model for Willoughby, one of the great cads of English uh, literature. Uh, anyway, there, there is racy stuff in lots of the 
museums, galleries, and uh, yeah, you should come on our tour. You'll find out a lot more.